All right, so this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to look go over the expansion for the Mysticana deck building system, which is going to be the Cave of Gins. Now you're going to have six different cards that are going to come with this, and you're going to need the Mysticana, uh, a foundation deck system to go with it, the 18 uh, cards there uh, to go with it, and then you'll have these six cards here, which are double sided. Now the Cave of Gins, for those who stumble into the Cave of Gins. There is only one way out. Should you fail to solve the uh, Jinn's riddle, you will surely suffer their wrath. Wrath. Uh, Cave of Jinn's is a solo tile-laying puzzle uh, game with action chaining. Uh, so, like I said, it's going to require the uh, Mysticana deck, and you're going to have the uh, Cave of Jinn's expansion. Uh, like I said, these are going to be six double-sided cards here. They're going to have an elemental type, so this one's going to be fire. Uh, you're going to have your riddle here, uh, same rank across, uh, which is going to be what's going to be required to solve this riddle, and your reward, uh, discard one card. All right, so your goal here is going to solve all six gin riddles uh, before you run out of cards or your position or you're, um, or you're able, not able to position any cards on the tableau here that you're going to be making. The avatar uh, may be used uh, as either rank 1 or 7, so it can be a 1 or 7, which will be important. And uh, you're going to shuffle up the 18 um, Mysticana cards, which is going to be the base game cards, and you're going to shuffle the 6, si uh, six double-sided gin cards, flipping some over while shuffling and place them in the formation as such. So you'll flip them as you shuffle them, but this is the formation that you're going to need to have for the game here. Um, sort of like a little pyramid thing we're going to have going here. And we're ready to go. That's going to be the setup. So how do you play? Uh, you're going to take turns until the game and conditions are met. Either you've lost or you won. You're going to draw two cards here. And you're going to take a look at these cards and look at the different riddles that the Jins have. Uh, so you draw two cards in your hand. Uh, if the draw deck runs out when you're doing this, uh, replenish it. So you take your discard pile and shuffle up to make a new draw deck. If there's only one card left remaining, then draw that one remaining card. You're going to place all the cards from your hand into any valid position on the cave here. So valid positions are going to be like this. Uh, so you're looking to cover over these cards here. So you're going to take a look at the riddle. So add across to equal nine. So up and down here have to equal nine. But over here, all locations are even ranks. Uh, this one here, same elements across two types. So that's pretty safe putting this one here. Um, so this one here I'll put here. So I'm going to need a different element going this way. Uh, so that's pretty safe. So that matches there. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go again and uh, place out some more cards here. So this one here, uh, all uh, locations are even ranks. Uh, so that's a, so notice on the bottom here, it says location, uh, location, and some are going to be creatures. So this one's here's a creature. So I'm looking for locations of even ranks. And in general, all even ones are locations. So that's not too hard to remember. Um, this one here, same elements across two, uh, add across to equal nine. So I need to put a three here, uh, and this is same rank across. So I would need two threes. So right now I already need a three here. Um, <laughs> I could just pop this one here, so it's the same element across. Uh, and I could pop this one here because it's an even location. We're going to keep on going. Uh, so then I'll draw another two cards here. Uh, this one here, even location. Uh, I want to finish one of these up to show you. So same element across. I don't have that. Uh, all locations. This one here has sequential, including uh, Dominion rank four sequence. Uh, so I need a sequence there. Uh, all low cards. This one here, all same rank across. So I'll go ahead and set this one all same rank across. 
Oh, I need a three. So it become, you can see where it becomes really hard here. Let's go ahead and do a little cheating here. And we're going to go ahead and finish this card here. So we need to have a green here. And we'll say we'll make this avatar the green. So we have finished this uh, gen. So what happens? So what will happen is we're going to take a card and cover over this gen. Just so we got it. But there's going to be some sequencing to this. So if at any time a gen, uh, you solve a gen's riddle, then immediately stop your turn and do the following before returning to your turn. So if I, the first card did it, then we're going to do that. Uh, perform the gen's reward action, which is going to be optional. So this is going to be move one. So I can move one of these cards. Now, you can chain these, uh, but what's really important is uh, that you, with the way you resolve them. So if I have two or more that gens that uh, actually... Um, I meet the criteria for, I pick which one I go first. Now, if I invalidate the gen while I'm resolving it, that's fine. However, if I invalidate the second gen that I haven't resolved yet, that's not fine. That gen will no longer resolve. So that's something to keep in mind. So by moving, so uh, say I can move one card. So I can move one card around there because I have four cards covering it. And that could help me out because maybe I want to have this up here. So I'm going to move that over there. Then um, after I've done that, uh, you could cover over the gen with a face down Mysticana card. This is required. Uh, there must be four Mysticana cards authentically adjacent to the gen to solve it. And the order does really matter in here. So let's go over. All right. So a couple other things to know is the other abilities on here. So you have other abilities, you have a discard. So uh, the discard abilities, which show you which one has a discard ability right here. Uh, discard one face up Mystica card from the cave and place it face up in the discard pile, which you could shuffle those in later. So that's a good way of retrieving some of these cards out here. Switch, you can swap two cards in there and move. You can move a face up card to any valid position on the board. So just to specify for covering a gin, after the solving the riddle and optionally performing the gin's action, you may cover the gin. Uh, choose a Mystica card authentically adjacent to the gen with a greater elemental strength than the gen and place it face down to cover the gen. If that's not available, then cover the gen with the top card of the draw deck without looking at it, replenishing the deck, uh, draw deck, and discard pile as needed. So, again, for elemental powers here. So, this one's blue. So, what defeats blue in there? So, again, this is going to be like rock, paper, scissors. Um, Earth consumes blue, so blue, that defeats blue. Uh, there was nothing around here that actually it defeated. Blue defeats fire. Um, earth is stronger than water, so earth can go over top of water. So that card would go, well, you could pick one of the two, but I would put that card on top. Uh, so yeah, earth consumes water, fire could, uh, uh, scorches earth, and water extinguishes fire. So... If I couldn't have done that, then I would have taken the top card from my deck here and placed it on top there without looking at it. Um, so it's better to know what you're, you're using for that. Uh, but basically, that's it. This is going to be how you're going to play Cave of Gins. Now, uh, game end and winning here. Uh, you're going to win if you solve the sixth riddle. You're going to lose if you run out of cards or you can't place any cards. Uh, you could also have difficulty variants in the game. You can play Jin's Mercy. Uh, you will need to solve five riddles or four riddles instead of all six, so you can make the game a little easier. You can do Stolen Resource to make the game a little harder. Uh, the Jin steals one of your Mysticana cards after setup. Take the Mysticana card to the deck without looking at it and remove it from the game. You can do Wishful Thinking. Uh, the Jin's force you to make an initial move before seeing their riddles. After setup, randomly place uh, the top one through three Mysticana cards from the deck face up into the highest positions, or into the highlighted positions, sorry. Uh, so here's going to be your highlighted positions in here. Um, and you can combine uh, stolen resources and riskful thinkings. Uh, so these could actually be illegal placements, potentially. Uh, so you're going to have to do things to move them around. Most often you're going to be okay with that, though. Uh, just makes the game a little bit more difficult. And that is going to be how you play Cave of Gins. 
uh, the expansion for the Mysticana system here. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I do believe that this is a fun expansion for the uh, base game here. I actually think this is going to be one of the required expansions. So if you really like this, this adds a really cool element to the game here with these different gins that you can use. Uh, and there's a lot of replayability on there because they're double-sided. They'll be in different positions each time. Really good solo game. Overall, I really enjoyed playing this. I think that this, again, is going to be, if you like uh, this Mysticana system here, a must-have expansion. I will mention that this is a prototype uh, for the game that's going to be on crowdfunding here soon. Uh, so look out for that. But uh, I really did like this expansion. I think it's really good. And that's my thoughts on it. Thank you for watching.